Hi everyone, welcome to Design School MC. In this video, I will create label logo design. Okay, first select the background, or you can create new background and change the color using gray color. Scroll a little bit here, a little bit down, and this is my color code, and click OK. Alright, zoom in. And create a circle object using ellipse tool, like that. And change the color to gray color maybe over here and click OK and I will create a small circle like that I will put over here maybe I need to change this small circle a little bit small maybe like that put over here and select rotate tool and click over here on the center and on the angle change to maybe 15 click preview click copy and duplicate like this okay like that and select this all object um, maybe I will create new circle like that and put on the center like this maybe a little bit bigger Click in this point and scroll a little bit down, put on the center, okay like this and change the color using white color, double click on the fill, scroll over here, click ok, alright I think that looks good, maybe a little bit on the right and a little bit down. Okay, that looks good. And I will create a circle again, like this. And change the fill color to stroke, like that. And double click on the stroke. Scroll over here, click OK. Change the size of this line. Click here. And change to 10. Okay, like this. And put on the center, over here. Okay, like that and create a uh, object using rectangle tool like that okay like this and change the stroke to fill color double click on the fill change to white color click ok and select this all object and select this object right click select group and change the rotation like this, click here scroll like this ok like that and select this object click this point a little bit down and this point too, a little bit going up ok, a little bit going up <coughs> select this object, change the rotation a little bit here and select this object a little bit down ok like this and create object using rectangle tool over here create line like this ok like that and I will copy this color code my background double click on the fill copy this code Select this object and select ungroup. Select here and here. Double click on the field. Right click over here. Click bits. Click OK. And I will copy this dark gray color. Right click. Select copy. And select this line. Change the color using dark gray. Click OK. And I will duplicate this line, click copy, edit, bits in front, and put over here. Okay, I think that looks good. And I will uh, create text for name my label. Maybe simple label design. I will put on the center over here and I will change the size to bigger 
maybe like that and put over here change the font style to another font you can looking for your pet font over here I will looking for my best font for this label Okay, I think this font is looks good, but I'm not see a uh, style over here, so I will looking for another font. Maybe here, not good. Maybe this font. You can looking for your pet's font. This is just example. I will change the regular to bold. Okay, like that. Put on the center. And change a little bit bigger like this. Click this point and scroll like this. Okay, I think that looks good. And I will change the color using the gray color. I will copy this color code, double click on the fill, right click over here, select copy, select this font, double click on the fill, right click on this dialog box, click pitch, click OK. Alright, I think that looks good. And I will create star object like this and put this star over here. Maybe I need to change this star a little bit small like that. Put over here and I will duplicate this star. Click copy, pitch in front and put this star over here. Okay, like that. And maybe I will create once again, but a little bit bigger. And I will put this star over here. Okay. I think that looks good. And maybe I will create um, a star object. Click here and change the point. Maybe I will change to 40. And this radius is 25 and this 15 50 okay like this click OK maybe I will edit this radius um, 24 uh, maybe 45 click OK Change the size to bigger like that and change the fill color to stroke. Click here. Okay, like this. Put over here. Click this point and scroll like this. And in this point too, click this point, scroll like that. A little bit going up. Okay, like that. And change the size, maybe I will using uh, 7. Okay. And I will cut this uh, object. Select rectangle tool. Click here. Scroll like that. Change to fill color. And select this object. And go to Perfinder finder and click minus front. Okay, I think that looks good. Right click, select ungroup, and I will edit this point. Click this point and move over here. And this point too, move over here. Okay, I think that looks good. And I will create new text. I will put over here. Best um, product. I will put over here, change the size a little bit bigger, okay like that and change the font style using same with this font, I think this same with, uh, the font is same with this, so I will change the font style to another font using bold style. I will change this size a little bit bigger like that and I will change this color using dark gray right click select 
uh, maybe I need to copy this color code, double click on the fill, right click over here, click copy, select this line, double click on the stroke, right click over here, click paste, click OK, and in this font, in this text too, I will using that gray color. Select the best product and bits over here the color code. Okay, I think that looks much better, and I will change this font style like this font. I will copy this font, right click, select copy, select this font, and click here, right click, select bits, enter, and change the size a little bit bigger, maybe like that, and put on the center. Okay, like this. Maybe I will change this uh, size a little bit small. Maybe like that. And I will uh, put this small star. I will copy the star object and I will put over here. Maybe a little bit going up. Okay, like that. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay guys, I hope you learned something in this video, and if you happy with my video tutorial, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel to get new video tutorial every time I update new video. And if you have a question, you can leave a comment below, and you can go to my YouTube channel in Design School MC, and you can watch more video tutorial, and see you on the next video.